Hi. Hi, David Reddish. Hi. Hello, Kathleen and Jimmy, Jennifer Coolidge, two grand dames of comedy, two women with rabid queer followings. How lucky am I? Ladies, thank you for talking with me today. The movie is Single All the Way, coming to Netflix. Yes. Yes, indeed. Uh, Kathy, I'll start with you. You play Carol in the movie. She's the mother of Peter, Michael Urie's character, who just wants him to settle down with a nice boy, not unlike my own mother. Um, it's interesting, in prepping for this interview, I realized I've been watching you in the movies now for 30 years, and I don't think I've ever heard you talk about your process. How do you go about building a character like Carol in a movie like this? Well, um, I first of all, I, I go out to a little shack in the back and I take my Uta Hagen book. Okay. And I take a vat of spaghetti sauce and I roll around in it a little bit. So <laughs> keeping the character. No, I wish I had a process, David. I think I read the script and I think how can I bring that to life in a way to like honor the writing uh, and the purpose and the plot. And sometimes it's right on and sometimes I make a really big mistake. But um, I don't know. I think it's, you know what I think it is? I think it's just trusting the first thing that comes in your mind and not spending too much time on whether you're right about it or not. Just if you came up and it feels right, just freaking do it, right, David? Instinct, I get it, that's, that's wonderful, that's wonderful. You have good instincts, I would add. You, you're wonderful in everything. Uh, Thank you. Jennifer, you are, you, now in the movie you play Aunt Sandy. She is the Christmas pageant director from hell. Uh, you're a woman known for character building skills in comedy specifically. In fact, I, you know, as I was researching this, you're billed as an experimental comedian on the IMDb, which is, I think, the only time I've ever seen that anywhere. I'm wondering, when you approach a role like this, because you're someone known for her, her improvisational skills, do you improvise much? How do you go about building a character like Sandy? I do get, you know, if I can improvise, it sometimes can help me. You know, sometimes people really don't want that. Sometimes you sign up for a movie and later, you know, the person pulls you aside and says, look, I want to just stick to my script and I really don't want any improv in this. But um, but then, you know, especially if you work with a lot of, uh, you know, really good comedy directors, they really, they encourage you and stuff. But but it's it's a mixed bag. Sometimes people really don't like it. I, I, I um, sometimes, you know, it works out and you come up with some good stuff and sometimes you don't, but... I, it's funny. Sometimes I feel like I'm the opposite of Kathy. I, I feel like the last thing I've thought of ends up what I should have been doing. You know, the first instinct for me is like way off. Like I, you know, you know, decide to play a character that's blind as if they had sight or something, you know, I mean, like I'll do something, you know, completely, uh, you know, you know, the, the insane take on it. Sometimes yes. it is good, but, but, um, but I think that, uh, I think it's kind of exciting. Sometimes, you know, I feel like uh, if you can improvise sometimes you can actually, I don't know, have a better idea of who they are. And I know it sounds really weird, but I feel like once I'm improvising, like just trying some stuff out on a set, even if I haven't gotten permission, sometimes it really helps me figure it out. But, um, but you know, I'm wrong. So I'm, I, I, you know, I make some bad choices sometimes too. We, we don't notice. We, we never, never see them. Um, <laughs> ladies, you're wonderful. Thank you so much. Happy holidays to you both. Thank, Thank you. Thanks, you.